and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon's title screen! Yes, we finished the park last time with me having a terrible cold, almost unaudible and coughing all the time, dying slowly, the horrible suffering. <laughs> well, um... Uh, the cold really hasn't lifted that much, but it is... You know, I'm just becoming a little bit better. Well, at least for me that is, but, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's not gone, and I'm still coughing and sniffling and snarling, but it's been a little bit better, so I thought, you know what, let's try recording, and, um, well, what better way to try and start with a new park, you know, fresh and all. So, um, yeah, let's see what new park we've got to play around in, and I must admit, if I take a look at the park values, <laughs> we're actually a little bit at the bottom, but we're not doing terribly, I think. Yeah, we're like fourth place. So that's not bad out of seven parks. Wow, good, good. Next one is Dragon's Cove. So let's see what Dragon's Cove is all about. Right, we'll pause it. A seaside cove is setting is the setting for this coaster building challenge. To finish... Uh, or our objective? To finish building all five of the partially built roller coasters in this park, designing them to achieve excitement ratings of at least 6.6 each. Ha! Huh. That doesn't seem so difficult. Wow, look at this park being huge as well, man. Wow, look at it! Though, I also see that all the coasters are pretty much in a central place. I don't think design... Ooh, 6.6, .6, huh? It's gonna be rough on this one. Wow. And they're also really close together, so... Knitting them all back to the station is gonna be a challenge. Uh, excuse me there. Um, yeah, so that's definitely gonna be a challenge. Now, what are you for a kind of coaster? You ha are a suspended roller coaster. You, are, you shouldn't be too difficult. This is the vertical drop roller coaster. Easy, easy going. This is... If I'm not mistaken, then this should be the... Uh, we can actually check what this should be. I think this is the flying coaster, you know, the very compact one. This is should also be. So these two are easy peasy. Then we have the bobsled coaster, which is going to be more challenging. And is it just me or are we lacking number five? Number five, <laughs> where are you? Or is it just four coasters? No, definitely. No, 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 no. Is it somewhere else then? Am I missing something over here? Oh, there's actually also a green one, which is a steel roller coaster. Should be relatively easy to get up to 10 uh, rating, but that doesn't have to be that easy. The cliffs, though. Yeah, I don't think we'll have that much uh, trouble getting these ratings out there. Now again, we could finish this rather quickly, but... Uh, you know, why don't we do it proper? And, well, I know that this one's going to be very, very difficult getting a grand coaster off. <laughs> and uh, uh, the same pretty much applies to you and to you. The other two should be easily to get grand. We'll see what we can do with this, uh, you know, with them turning out grand. What is going to help, though, is that they've pretty much built the stations on top of each other. So that's definitely going to help out. But this is a tight knot of coaster stuff. Now, uh, the amount of flat terrain is also rather scarce, I know. <laughs> just, uh, just look at the cliffs that we have everywhere. The only real flat space is the beach, and for the rest, we kind of have to... Well, there's this plateau over here. And there's the water. <laughs> and that pretty much sums it up. I don't really know what our best approach uh, would be to deal with it, but the startup is going to be rough and expensive. So, yeah, we better be prepared for that. Now, uh, let's check what the rides are. 
that we have available? Not much. Uh, I guess these are all the coasters that we have available, so... Technically speaking, we don't really have any, unless we start with finishing one of these coasters first. I guess we could, uh, theoretically speaking, do it, but all of them will be expensive. This one because the track will be really long, and this one just because they're all, they are just expensive, just even to build. Nothing there, not much there. Uh... Well, nothing really exciting over here. I mean, we got the basics, but that's about it. And, you know, we have water rides, but the nearest water is like miles away. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, this is a rather difficult start, especially the terrain, man. This is going to be rough. We need to branch out over here first, and we need to set our eggheads to work. Because, yeah, this is going to be difficult. I think uh, roller coasters should be our first focus. Come on. Maximum funding, of course. I mean, those nerds in the <laughs> locked up uh, laboratory, you know, discovering new ways to, for rides. I really need them to be at the max speed. <laughs> I imagine that 400 per month means <laughs> the door doesn't go open. Uh, you know, and food and stuff is only delivered through a small slit in the door. <laughs> Much like a prison door, really. <laughs> Bad. Uh, maybe I should not be recording, but... Uh, anyway, what I also want to know is... Bank. This sickly tycoon can only take 10,000 bucks out. Not really that much. Now, of course, we'll open this and... You know what, there's actually a pretty good possibility that when we uh, unpause the game, there will be a lot of guests coming, because we have quite a few rides, not that they can get to them, but we have quite a few rides, so perhaps that will work in our favor. Now, we need to plan carefully where we are going to put the path. I first want a path that leads uh, over here, basically. I want one that goes to, well actually these are, I mean this is like, we turn the uh, trees invisible. Basically this is true flat, but you can consider this to be part of it as well. So what I think we should do is have our path go up to here, so something like this, and then over here, down here, to the water, where we can then add water rides. They're going to be crucial in our success. So, before we do anything, let us... Uh, oh, and also, why don't we... I mean, is there any path already? There is, and it has wooden supports. So, we will uh, join. No, actually, we won't. How about golden support, huh? To make it look pimpy. Right, what we're going to do is we're first going to lay out the path, then we're going to worry about everything else, right? Because this is important. Uh, I think what we should do is... Um, we shouldn't make them too high, so you know, lowering the terrain a little, I don't feel bad about that. No stuff like this. I also think we shouldn't really be placing too many unnecessary up, ups and downs uh, onto this path. So, oh, surprise, there's a tree in the way. Now we will go down even further after we remove the uh, tree. <laughs> Ah, uh, excuse me there. Anyway, uh, now we will go down here and let us get the height of the path out there. We're at height 14. Seems about right, so that means we should not uh, really go that far out here. There. Also, there's no time pressure for us. Uh, only, we could only go bankrupt, but I, th I don't think uh, we shall, so... There aren't really any um, failure conditions for this park, huh? How cool is that? There. Add some open fresh air to it. And then like this. Underground view be gone and look at it. Beautiful, I see. And then we'll do it like this. 
Wow, there's even one guest in the park already. Now we will extend this all the way down to the water side, as I said. Come on, be gone. Uh, from here on we shall go downwards. That is if those freaking annoying trees don't bother us each and every time we try and build wherever they are. Good. Well, that seems about right. Let us get some stuff. And wow, <laughs> did you see all the weeds growing all of a sudden here? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, stuff, huh? Why don't you go and patrol this whole area? And oh, man, <laughs> the joy of not having to assign stuff underwater. Oh, such a joy. Such a joy. Now. Uh, let's see. So long as we go straight over here, that should cover it. And we'll get a mechanic. Should cover it too. Uh, I don't think we need anything else for the time being. So We need to start out cheap. This park's going to be expensive already. Just look at it. Building a path it cost us 1,518 uh, 1, bucks. And then we only have the path. Granted, we will be able to use it for uh, quite a few things. I still find it a lot. So, yeah, it's definitely... And that, and then we haven't even built any facilities like uh, toilets, benches, or uh, you know, information stuff, and food and drink stuff. You know, none of that has been added. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a rough start. We need to watch our money tightly. Now, it is time to get these out there. First of all, we'll get you. We are most definitely going to charge the full shebang for the uh, umbrellas. I don't even know how, uh, uh, what our, you know, financial status of our guests is. Are they rich? Are they poor? Do they like uh, intense stuff? I have not a single clue, but... It doesn't matter, as those will be the prices. We'll also start out with like two toilets, I suppose. One there, which ain't gonna be free, not ever. Especially since guest count isn't a real concern for us. We'll lower that. I'll build another one there. Right, then the next thing will be a fries hut. Uh, which we shall build right next to the toilet. <coughs> I mean, why not, right? <laughs> the best place to get your food is always next to a toilet. <laughs> At least it's th that seems to be the rule of thumb <laughs> in our parks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Right, we'll get one of you out there, and as well, one of these. So we have one of everything. And I guess that's it then, yeah? That is uh, it in terms of shops and stalls. That seems a nice spot for it. There, right, good. Okay, so, what do we have? <laughs> shops and stalls and rides and we're, well, I wouldn't say halfway through our money, <laughs> but we are. Ooh, nice, there's a coaster coming. No, but we're going through our money rather quickly without actually having anything to show for this bike. I do know, however, that we're going to use the hilltops to our advantage. So we'll flatten this one. Uh, we'll also have to flatten this. And we are going to build this over here. Now, I know that we have the flat area around the, uh, you know, around where we've branched out with our... Uh, with our, uh, with our path, you know, with our initial logistics, but this needs to be done. We cannot escape this. Oh, there, right, no entry sign, and we can actually, you know what, let's go for a mine theming over here, right? I mean, we've done Roman only like two or three parks ago, so we'll change it up a little. Also, <laughs> I might want to do that. Then we will pause it because we can't afford to squander too much time early on, seeing how 
uh, you know, we have to pay wages for our staff and research. Later on, it doesn't matter so much, but right now, yeah, we don't want to squander any moment. We need the money and we need it fast. We need a, you know, we need a quick, good amount of rides in order for this park to be uh, financially successful. Now, another cool thing that I've been doing, you know, and uh, I thought, you know, maybe I should mention it because it might just influence our naming scheme. I've been getting a course of German at work for free and, um, because I need it for work, so, <laughs> yeah, you know, before that course, <laughs> I spoke, like, uh, I don't know, four words of German, <laughs> which were, like, uh, Scheiße, Schweinhund, and uh, Fick dir, and uh, that's pretty much it, so, uh, but now I know a lot more, so, <laughs> yeah, I got, <laughs> I mean, those German people watching this, don't feel offended, <laughs> it was all I knew, <laughs> but how about we're going to call this, um, uh, geschafte, uh, geschafte Leistung. I don't even know. It sounds cool. You know, I've been getting a course in speaking, though. <laughs> Not. In uh, excuse me, there, man. Um, no, but I've been getting a course in speaking, not in writing. So. I don't know really if this. Uh, <laughs> If this really, well, you know, means anything, or if it's written proper, but you know what? We'll change it. We'll change it to Das Boot, which is named after my own boat. So there, we will then paint it accordingly. Uh, currently, I'd say it's an, I'd say it's uh, on a camo color. I mean, our boat is on land currently, so we'll we'll camo the the structure in grass colors perhaps this yeah that seems about right and then we'll paint it like this and this seems about adequate actually though to be fair you know our harbor is more like a gray eh, i don't know i even though the you know painting it truly after a boat we i should go with the gray because <laughs> i mean it's all concrete and gray brick you know where it's standing uh, currently but uh th th this looks nicer so there well does boat our very first ride there guess have something to do uh what we will also do is pretty much instantly add the next ride and unfortunately we cannot add it right here i would love to but no so instead we shall oh crap uh we shall have it over here which i guess is the next best thing how about we go into the underground and just hook it up there the exit can be easy though look see we're getting there i mean guess we'll soon start spending money on our lovely rides which should generate some income at least <laughs> Oh man, it's really bad. No, but it should generate some income, so what we should see is at least uh, some positive cash flow. I mean, currently, and I know we need to, but currently we're only spending. Only. <laughs> I mean, that's all we're doing. I ain't gonna work, man. I mean, no park is gonna be successful if all we do is spend money. Wait, oh crap. There, I was building it on the paths game. What do you want about? And then we'll build that there. Done! Alright, let's get them settings sorted. By settings, I mean the tuning of this ride to the max. Uh, we shall also charge them full five bucks for it. Now, I do wonder... Uh, research dudes. Suspended single rail coaster. I believe that this is again a pretty expensive coaster unless this is the one with the dangling cars you know that can't really go that high even though that would be a very good coaster for us to get right now because uh, yeah, yeah there might be an issue with uh are we gonna wood no log cabin log cabin no but there might be an issue with our current income you know even this has to ride its full 25 swings first so yeah there is issues now we will open this up we've got that sorted 
how about we name this uh, how about we name this uh, the uh, der begeister versammlung I don't even know what that means, you know, but it sounds German. <laughs> I mean, this whole park's got to be German. Dragon Scove. I don't even know what that, how that would be called if it were to be in German. I mean, like, uh, I don't know, Dragon's uh, Meerecke or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> oh, I've got a long way to go with my course, man. <laughs> right, um, let's give this a quick respray then. How about we go with a brown and then something like nah 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 not the white either and that nah we need something more like this perhaps seems about right to me well we'll run with it you know we'll see what's going to happen then then Hey, what a ride here. The boat hire. Most definitely do we want this. Uh, also, I don't want this in this fashion. And we're also going to remove these stupid roofs. Because really, I mean, they don't make any sense. So, let's see. Do we have floating minecarts? That would be awesome, man. No. <laughs> Now, um, instead, what we will do is, uh, excuse me for a moment. Ah, and back. Um, now, what we will do is, uh, we'll go with canoes, I guess. Then uh, over here we'll go with the plain entrance. Yeah, I guess canoes looks good. I mean, this is a hilly, foresty area, you know. Imagine being one with nature and... Well, supposedly this is open to the beach, but I don't really know. I mean, if this is a beach, <laughs> where is the rest of it? There's only this small part. I'd at least expected rocks, you know, near the uh, near the coast, and over here it's just grass. So I mean, even this part it looks particularly bad. So yeah, we can go with canoes. We'll just pretend this is an inland sea of sweet water. Now then, uh, we will set this to ten minutes. We will set you to five bucks, as is needed for our finances, and then we'll open it up there then we will also hook it up with the uh, blue queue that is let's see we don't really need a long queue for this one as the guests are going to be waiting plenty long already there done nice all right yeah we'll get this out there there we have it. Good. Well then, um, let us give this a quick name. How about uh, we call this... Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hear me talk German. <laughs> the Seeführer. Uh, there. I mean, after all, you do pilot this canoe, right? So, the Seeführer. <laughs> Uh, oh, man, I'm getting so many bad thoughts here right now. <laughs> I'd best not mention them. <laughs> uh, ew, nice. Let's pause it. Let's see uh, what that uh, ride is, all right? We'll go with the white uh, fences there. So that's about right. Good, eggheads. Show me what... Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. This is exactly the coaster that we need. Now, we do have both our thrill rides, uh, so I kind of do want uh, more of those. But yeah, that's, that single suspended coaster is exactly what we need. However, then comes the next question. Where are we going to build it? 
I am really, really favoring uh, somewhere around here, you know, in this hilly area where not much is possible anyway. We might as well build it over here. Um, I also think that it should be the best for us if we build the station underground. Because then we have more height advantage and everything. So it's, we are quite high up, so... Yeah, we'll build it underground, though not at first. What we need first is... Oops, pause it. We need some gentle rides, and you know what we also need? We need some freaking music, man. I mean, we don't have any music in the park currently. We'll go with Egyptian for you, and we'll go with... Uh, no. We'll go with... Uh, is there any, any mine? Style? No, there is Roman fanfare though. We'll go with Roman fanfare. Or fanfare. <laughs> uh, excuse me there. Uh, no, but like the Americans would say, a fanfare. Uh, anyway, what we will now place is uh, this, the slide perhaps. Or we place this, and we would have had music anyway. You know what? We will place this. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Um, this we can actually place over here. Yes. Build. And then we should place it over here, I guess. There. Alright. Seems about right. Let's quickly hook this up and get this, uh, get this sorted. Oh, excuse me there, man. I had a really bad fit of uh, sickness and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, back to what we were doing. That is seeing that we get this right operational ASAP. Right. To me, this uh, seems as close to ASAP as is humanly possible, or even tycooningly possible. There. I'll put this to 10 minutes. Come on, I want it up. I want it the highest we can get there. Good, good, good. Now, um, how about we call this... Um, uh, how about we call this the... Fedische... Fedische... Auffahrung. Fahrung? I don't even know if this is a thing. <laughs> Oh man, if it isn't, I would like to know, uh, or even if it's not really a thing, but it means something, <laughs> then uh, I would also like to know. I want to know if my German is up to par. I mean, I do have, you know, for my work, I kind of have to talk, you know, as a customer to suppliers, so um, yeah, having at least a few <laughs> German words right would uh, really boost my self-confidence uh, here. Now, uh, we have the name. How about we go with a... Uh, I mean, we could go with a yellow and a red, and then if there was any black, you know, we would have them uh, them colors. On the other hand, uh, actually, the yellow isn't so bad. Only the red needs to go. I, th I guess black looks better over there. So, uh, looking good, looking good. Now then, um, you know what we haven't done, and what we really should do is check out our uh, guest financial uh, deposition, or <laughs> whatever you call it, really. So we open up like three guests here. <laughs> <coughs> open up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get my knife out. Ooh, I'm seeing issues here. It ranges from 50 to 80, which is a relatively huge spread. But from the three I open, two of them are tired. And they all come in relatively happy. Relatively hungry and thirsty. They're not enough to uh, start buying drinks right away. And they all want ride intensity more than four, except for one. So intense rides is the way to go for us. That's good to know, actually, because that means that our gentle rides... Well, we shouldn't really focus on them. All right, good. Well, we have a coaster. Uh, we are going to build that, but that is going to happen next time. 
However, uh, I don't really know when next time will be, because uh, I must admit that this didn't really go that smoothly, and uh, I don't know, you know, there's a good chance I might hold off recording for a few more days till that cough goes away a little bit more, because it's just terrible, man. But um, yeah, we're gonna do stuff and things next time when we play more Rollercoaster Tycoon.